AJ, guess what? Every time I come to this market, someone brings me games and it happened again. AJ was here last year, you know. AJ went to a sale today and he got a good deal on games. Well, um, me too, AJ. Yay. Anyway, uh, 20 bucks. You sound like you're 10. I am 10 in, in my mind. Um, nah, I, in my mind, I think I'm like 18. Anyway, someone came to me and they were like, you buy games? And I was like, yes, I do. And I said, I have some Game Boy Advance games. I'm like, fine, right? So later in the day, he comes and he says, uh, so how much would you give me for these games? And I'm looking at the games and I'm doing the math in my head and I'm coming to like maybe 40, you know, I, I, like this way, 35, 40, because there's some, there's some decent stuff there. Nothing insanely amazing, but definitely some decent stuff. Um, so I'm thinking 40, right? So I'm taking my time and the kid says, hey, how about 15 for everything? So I was like, uh, you know what? I'll give you 20. And he doesn't know it, but I met him in the middle, and I gave him half. So anyway, let's see what I got for the 20 bucks. Um, I had some nice games there. Here's Spyro, Orange. I got a Digimon, uh, Battle Spirit. I got a Dual Masters, Shadow Code. Mega Man Zero Four. I got a Mega Man Zero Two. I don't think these are super expensive. I don't know. You know, I haven't had Game Boy games in a while. Uh, I might just test these and stick them on, on eBay. Unfortunately, I have a hard time selling this stuff on um, at the flea market, you know. So anyway, unless it's Mario or Zelda, but uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! World Series champ uh, Tournament 2004. I think this is a, a decent one. Harvest Moon? Not really sure. I, you know, maybe I have a $20 game here. Pay for everything. Maybe. Uh, Sonic Advance, Sonic Pinball Party, classic NES series, uh, Super Mario Brothers, uh, Spyro, Season of the Ice, Dr. Mario, and uh, Puzzle League. Power Rangers, Ninja Storm, uh, this might be one, this might be a good one, uh, but I'm not really sure. It's a mobile unit Gundam Seed Battle Assault. Beats me. Uh, I bet you it's at least a $20 game, but I don't know. AJ will know. AJ will be like, oh my god. That's a, and, then, and then this one. I think if this were made in um, Super Nintendo, this would be really valuable, but it's an American Tale, Five Will Go Gold Rush. No, I think Five Will Goes West is the value, and, and it's either Super Nintendo or or uh, original. I think it's Super Nintendo. Anyway, who cares? Power Rangers, Dino Thunder. Anyway, I am super surprised. I did not expect to get any games today. I uh, did a game trade with some BS stuff, but it wasn't really a trade. I just gave the kid a discount on uh, some games. You'll see that probably after this. Uh, anyway, I think I already did my shout out, so uh, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm still selling, still working. We got so lucky today, no rain, and I'm having a decent day. Anyway, I'm out of here. Goodbye. All right, I don't think I'm going to get any games today, so this is my pickup video for today. Uh, I got a belt because look at my old belt. Look at that. What the hell is that? <laughs> it just looks like rats were at it. I got it from the dollar guy, Michael. He always gives me good price. You know, he, get, he only charges eight bucks for all this stuff. Eight bucks. I got a belt. I got a. I'll show the. I'll show. The, look, I got this <laughs> sandwich bags. That's for you. I got. Look at these two big rolls of tape. Pretty good, right? And I got a fanny pack because everybody says I put stuff in my pockets and it makes me look hippie. So <laughs> they say it's an unattractive look for me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how cool I look with a fanny pack. See if it makes a difference. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's probably everything I'm going to get today. So the next exciting thing I'll show is, is, is uh, my setup. Well, it looks like I'm lucky so far today. And if he weather day is turning out to kind of be a nice uh, cloudy, but sunny day um, I didn't buy this stuff uh, this was actually a trade um, but what I kind of did was I, to me there's like ten dollars worth of games here and one of these isn't even right yeah it's Rocky with Soul Calibur 2 which is actually a more playable game I might actually take the cover out and just pair it up with the um, PlayStation 2 that I'm trying to sell and just say hey that's a freebie I'm throwing in if you're playing the game uh, maybe I'll even throw in this one too um, but anyway what I did was uh, the person bought about $50 worth of games and I said okay this looks to me about $10 in trades so I knocked off $10 and I made 40 and to be honest I kind of would have given them the discount of at least $5 anyway so I did come out a little bit ahead um, but like I said I, I mean the games I got are Dave Mira uh, not Rocky Soul Calibur Ford Racing and Thunderbird Agent 007 <coughs> Odds are that's the only thing I'm going to get today. So how's it going today? Eh, okay. I'm not doing great. I'm not doing bad though. Uh, the weather wasn't really working with me today. 
Uh, but I think I'm going to show my spot. And, and there is, there are some crowds here. There is some traffic. There's people walking around. There's a big, wide road, so that's why it doesn't look very crowded. Um, here's what I put out. I really didn't put out too much. Um, I did six tables, but I only used probably four of them. Uh, records. I put out these Miller Lite things. I haven't sold any of those yet. And then I put CDs. I put about 11 trays of CDs today, and it's all just in a row. And then I put some game stuff here. And I did my normal thing where I have like four trays of games, right? And here's my case. You can see there's all empty spaces. And then Marie didn't really want to put hardly any jewelry out. Um, but she did put out her well, two cases. Of the rain, and yeah, I know the rain. Ah, believe me, the rain, the rain. But we're lucky so far there's no rain, so. Now my phone is only showing 25% of 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock, okay. And 4 it's done. Yeah, if, if it's done at 4, I'm just probably going to start. Pa I mean, just rearranging the car. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, we'll get Daisy. I don't know when they're going to move that truck, though. You know, I, I'll just put the stuff, they'll move they're the truck. Like, well, if, see these guys here? If they split, you know, and there's a lizard guy. You can't get past the truck. You they drive up on their lawn. <laughs> just drive on that guy's lawn right there. I totally get by. Just drive up on his driveway and drive on his lawn and then park here on this lawn here. So it's very easy to do. Anyway, here's Marie's other case. And did you put a bunch of new stuff in here today? Like just the stuff you got over the few days? Nah? How much jewelry did you sell today? Uh, now up to about like a half. $16. Now wait, but up to like, so Marie said she only sold $16 today. For some reason, all these people suck and they don't buy her jewelry, right? Now what was the one, now up to what time? About, but I didn't put a lot of my nice She didn't put a lot of stuff, nice stuff she said. Now, but up to about like 15 minutes ago, how much did you say? She had sold a dollar. And what it, these earrings stupid earrings. 80s earrings. That was just like, it was like, what? One o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. She's like, hey, I sold a dollar. And I'm like, oh. But it, we're not doing that bad. She's just, nobody's buying jewelry today. But she just sold 16. So there, there's hope, you know. If you sell as much as I sell, we'll have an okay day today. <laughs> it could happen. I doubt it. I know. You got some nice stuff too. This is nice. I know you just added that. This is pretty. Now I know that's not expensive. This is really cool. I don't remember. That's glass, right? Or stone? No, that's stone. Yeah. No, you have nice stuff. All right, let's see what happens. I, I don't. Someone told me they were going to bring me some Game Boy stuff today, and I sold a lot of consoles today. I sold. Um, I sold a PS2, a, a PS1, and I sold a Game Boy Advance SP, and I sold a Game. Boy, I sold a DS, and then I sold a Game Boy Color, so that's not bad, you know. But whatever, we'll see how we'll see what happens. Um, oh, AJ got some good stuff today, so watch this video for pickup. And you know what? I might as well do a shout out just in case I do any more. Uh, if I, I don't think I'm gonna do any other videos, so I'll just show the crowd. I'll show people kind of hanging out at my uh, space and shopping, and I'll just give my shout outs. Uh, Nas, nostalgic, um, video gamer Daryl, AJ, ASAP. Zonk, Thrift Hunter, I'm going to do, uh, we've been talking, and he's been posting. Uh, I'll do Nevermore Antiques, Living the Good Life, um, uh, s s something with Sherman, <laughs> I remember the other day, let's see, uh, something, buying things, which, okay, and just everybody else that I'm not thinking of right now, you know, shout outs for everyone, except for Marie. <laughs> That's an inside joke. A few people know that. Some of the few people have watched some of my videos. Shoutouts for everyone. It's raining shoutouts, except for Marie. All right, anyway, I'm out of here. Bye. Okay, so we're going to kennel work this morning. And look how foggy it is. You can barely see. We're still debating on if we're going to set up, so we'll see about that. Because it's kind of rainy today, and the uh, weather's just not working in our favor. But right now, it's we've already driven through like two parts of rain, right? So, well, let's see what happens. Drizzle. Well, yeah, definitely drizzle. You know, the the windshield wipers, while they may not look like they're wiping anything now, a few minutes ago we're wiping water. Uh, but anyway, off to Kenilworth. Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll set up. Maybe we won't. Well, it's on, and I'm helping with the numbers. I immediately messed up. And I put the numbers backwards. So now I'm going to fix it. I started, I did it backwards. Anyway, as far as I know, it's on. I guess I'm going to set up. If it rains, it rains, whatever. 
I got plastic. Hopefully uh, I'll get lucky and I'll have a good day. Anyway, back to work. So uh, I'm on this block. I'm set up at space 94. That's between 19th and I guess South 20th Street on Boulevard. I'm coming up to my spot, which is right here. I'll either park down here, but I might park down like where the chiropractic is down there. Yeah, this should be me, 94, between this dot and this dot, normal size. Not too big, not too, big, not too small. Uh, I'm across from the Santander Bank, and I'm next to the Wells Fargo and the David M. Klugman. Uh, right. Correction, I am spot 92. No, maybe block. I'm going to ask her if we could switch to 90. Does 90? Is on the end of the block? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I mean, and then you can just park now, but see, there. there's, I mean, I'd have to park, well, yeah, I suppose I could park over there. And then right at the edge of the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if she says 90, that's fine, and I'll park, like, past the dead end sign over there. Oh, okay. All right, see what she says. Uh, maybe she'll care, maybe she won't. You know, sometimes she gives the corners to, like, I don't know, food or, or whoever. Who a Who's a Brahma? All right. Yeah, because then we can park the truck right there. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, that'd be great, but we'll see. Because I'll, I'll, I'll start doing a truck soon, whatever. If they say I can go set up, I'll, I'll go set up. Well, it's super, uh, stupid humid, uh, super humid out here today. I'm already sweating, you know. I just got a hoodie. It's not, and I know it, it's not that warm out. Um, I'm going to be, there's my secondhand Daisy Mobile behind that black trailer all the way back there. It looks really far away in the distance, but it's not. It just, I don't know like a third of a block away. Um, they said I could spread out. I got two spots. Instead of being in 92, I'm going to be in 90 and 92. So on the corner. And it looks like I'm going to park behind this Wells Fargo down the block. Let me just uh, go around. Okay, so I'm going to be... Okay. Here I am. And I got... To the two spots, 9092, and I'm gonna park in the Wells Fargo parking lot around the corner. Normally, I wouldn't be able to have this corner, but the, the a food guy who's coming has two flats. So, anyway, let me get started. I don't like this weather. Here I am. Like I said, I'm parked behind the Wells Fargo. There's my spot on the corner, all the way over there. I'm just gonna zoom in while I'm walking over, and you could see that's me pre-set up, just empty the stuff out. Anyway, I'm going over and I'm going to get going. It's so foggy out today, but whatever. Let me just get started and uh, I'm setting up really carefully. Tent, plastic, not a lot of stuff. I think when you saw my car, you still saw, saw the whole back seat was still loaded because I ain't being brave and putting out that stuff. That stuff don't sell that well anyway. I got my core stuff, my core seller. Easy to pack stuff, easy to... Uh, uh, load and unload, put in the car, whatever. Here I am. Let me get started. I'm not set up, but I'm getting there. Uh, as of right now, this is what I got going on. Um, I put, they said I could take two spaces because a lot of people just chickened out today because of the weather. Um, I'm going to be set up so well that it could pour and my stuff isn't going to get wet. But I really don't want to deal with, with it if it does pour. Pouring is, is like the worst thing you could, like, packing up when it's pouring out. Oh, you don't want to do it. Anyway, I got, uh, I only put out six tables. My long table, long folding tables, one, two, three, four of those. Then I put my, my uh, smaller folding tables. Uh, I'm, I didn't go exactly to the end of the line, but I figured people could walk around like I'm walking here now where my feet are. They could just, like, walk around the tables like that. And I put one table in front of the other, and it's just going to be a big wide table. I don't know what I'll put there. I'll figure something out. I haven't decided yet. Um, yeah, all right. Let me see how it goes. I just don't like the skies, but we're supposed to be okay. Yeah, whatever. Look at look at the humidity. Look at that. I, I'll draw a, a, a nice heart there. So I'm on my way to the restroom, and this is what a street fair looks like before it's open. Everybody's set up. Uh, look at them clouds up there. But it's not really supposed to rain anymore. So anyway, everybody's set up. This one looks to be about, uh, I guess, four blocks. I'm kind of walking in the middle. 
on the blue line. There's my feet. And my belly. I didn't mean to get my belly in there, but it kind of sticks out. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, so I'm taking a walk to the restroom. This is light on vendors today. Normally there'd be more vendors. But with this iffy weather, it kind of, it could kill you two ways, you know, because you can get rained on and nobody comes out if it's raining. They're like, oh, man, I don't want to get wet. You can't blame them for not wanting to get wet. I'm basically looking for the restroom. That's what I'm doing. I'm looking down. I'm just walking with the camera aimed straight, but I'm just, oh, there they are. Okay. That's the rest of the street fair. <laughs>